Another concept you'll have to deal with with functions, both graphically and algebraically, is this idea of an even or odd function. To do this, you're going to take the function and plug in negative x everywhere you see an x, and then you do the simplifying. If you end up with the exact same function you started with, then the function is even. How do you know you have the same function? Well, if you do f of negative x and you do the arithmetic and it equals the original function, then you know that your function was even. If you end up with the exact opposite of what you started with, meaning f of negative x equaled negative f of x, all the plus signs become minus and vice versa, then the function is odd. In all other cases, the function is neither even nor odd. In a case where the definition sounds daunting, but once you do a couple examples, it's really not that bad. So before we do this, here's an important reminder. If you raise a negative to an even power, it becomes positive. Negative 2 in parentheses squared is a positive 4. This is not the same as negative 2 squared. Notice there's no parentheses over here. Negative 2 squared like this means square the 2, which is 4, and then slap a negative on it. So we're talking about a negative 2 in parentheses squared. If you raise a negative to an odd power, it stays negative. Negative 2 cubed equals negative 8. All right, first example, there's just our definitions again, just so that they're right in front of you. f of x equals negative x cubed minus 6x. I need to substitute in negative x for x in this equation. Now, you need to understand something. I'm going to use parentheses, and the reason is this. This x cubed means I need to cube the entire quantity x. Well, now my new quantity is negative x, and the only way I'm going to be cubing the entire quantity is to put it in parentheses. I put this in parentheses also. So now when I do this arithmetic, negative x cubed, we know from what we said in the last screen that when you raise a negative to an odd power, it stays negative. This negative right here comes down. The reason this is negative is because a negative in parentheses raised to an odd power stays negative. And of course, negative times negative is a positive. Here, this negative in front of a negative, you know, stands for the opposite of the negative, is going to turn both of those into positive, and now we're going to have x cubed plus 6x. That's the arithmetic. That's the plugging in and the simplifying. What remains is for us to check to see if it equals the original function. Here was my original function. Here's what I got after my substitution. Are these two things identical? No, they're not, so it is definitely not even. The other thing we have to check is if this new function is the exact opposite of that function, meaning if I go through this and I change these signs, will I get this new one? Yeah, that becomes positive, that becomes positive. These two things now are identical, which means this is an odd function. There's our definition again. Here's our equation, g of x equals x to the fourth minus 2x squared. I'm going to plug in g of negative x, forgot my negative there. Put a negative x here, gives us in parentheses, negative x to the fourth. Put a negative x here, negative x in parentheses squared. From what we just went over a couple minutes ago, a negative raised to an even power comes out positive. That negative raised to an even power comes out positive. That negative and that negative never reach each other, and that's why this remains a negative. Original function g of negative x, they are identical. That means this is an even function. There's our definition. There's our equation. Let's plug in negative x for each of these x's. This is a negative x raised to an even power means it's going to come out to be a positive x squared. 2 times negative x is negative 2x, and of course plus 1 just hangs around. How do these relate? Are these two exactly the same? No, it's not even. Is this one the exact opposite of that, meaning if I change all of those signs, will I get this? No. So it's neither even nor odd, and that's why we say neither. You can tell from a graph if a function is even or odd. So here's the first function we did. This is the graph of it using a graphing utility on the computer. Now we're going to look at is this idea. A graph that is odd is symmetric to the origin. And what symmetric to the origin means is for every point x comma y you have on the graph, so is negative x negative y. Take this point right here, for example. That looks like, I'm just estimating, like 
negative 2.5 comma 25. That's just an estimate looking at the graph. If negative 2.5 comma 25 is on the graph, then according to this, the negative of that, which would be positive 2.5, and the negative of that, which is negative 25, should also be on the graph, and it is. It's about right there. So that's what symmetric to the origin means point by point. But if you don't want to look at it point by point, the other way to look at it is to take your graph and see if you can rotate it 180 degrees about the origin. Now to show you what that means, I made a little copy of my graph right here just using a little highlighter. I'm going to bring this over here and I'm going to click on it and take this right here and rotate this down all the way 180 degrees. If I can get it to stop. There's 180 degrees. And now I'm going to take this back over and you see that it lines up perfectly with the graph. That's what symmetric to the origin means. Here's another one, f of x equals x cubed, graph for you using a graphing utility. Here's my tracing of it right here in red. Bring it back over here, click on it so that I can rotate it 180 degrees. It stops here at the bottom and then drag it back over and it lines up perfectly. Now this one really is symmetric to the origin. It really is odd, and I can show that to you by doing our definition. To check the definition, I need to do f of negative x. f of negative x means to plug in negative x for that x and cube it. We know a negative raised to an odd power stays negative. This is negative x cubed. So that was our original function. This is our new function, which is the total opposite of that function, which makes this odd. So there it is algebraically odd, and there it is on the graph showing you the symmetry to the origin. Here's another one drawn for you. There's my replica right there that matches up. Bring it back, click on it, and rotate it 180, which brings the top all the way down to the bottom, and then brings this back over, and this lines up. One other comment about these odd functions that are symmetric to the origin, and that is they have to go through the origin. A graph that is even is symmetric to the y-axis, and the definition says if xy is on the graph, then so is negative xy. What that refers to is, let's take a point over here, like right here. So that's our point 1, negative 1. Our definition says, and so is negative x, comma y. So negate that would give me negative 1, and leave that y alone. So that says the point negative 1, negative 1 should be on the graph, and it is, and it's right there. Now physically what this means, if it's symmetric to the y-axis, that means there's my y-axis. If I take this half and flip it over that red line, it's going to land exactly on here. If you don't want to think about flipping over the line, think about this being a piece of paper and you fold it right there on that line. If the left side lines up exactly with the right side, then you know you have symmetry to the y-axis and you also have an even function. The same idea here, x squared plus 6. Here's my y-axis. If I fold it right on that y-axis, the left side is going to land exactly on the right side. But take a look at this one. If I put in my axis right there to emphasize, if I fold this part over that axis, it's going to be somewhere like right here. It does not line up exactly with the right side, and therefore this is not symmetric to the y-axis. There's no way this could be symmetric to the origin because it doesn't even go through the origin. So this is going to be a function that is neither even nor odd. The last one to look at is a little more complicated algebraically, but the graph will shed some light for us. If this is my original function, I know I need to substitute a negative x for that x and negative x for that x, which is what I did on this step right here. Negative x raised to an even power is going to come out to be a positive x squared. That negative x raised to an even power comes out positive x squared. And what I have is the exact same function. This, this one, and the original are the same, which means this is an even function. And the graph bears that out. That's with a graphing utility. If I have my y-axis right here, if I fold over that y-axis, this curve lands perfectly on that curve. So that's even and odd looking at it algebraically and graphically.